So in this lifetime, I've launched several rockets of desire on no many kidding. different subjects. <laughs> yeah. My question is about having several simultaneous goals like health, money, home, relationships. Yeah. You're a pointer. Just point and stay out of the way. <laughs> and let the law of attraction gather the cooperative components and don't pay any attention to a physical human world that is often focused in shortage consciousness who feel the unfairness of your thriving in so many ways all at the same time you gotta just lovingly understand that they don't understand so i understand my job is to follow the path of least resistance right and trust that source is tending to all of these different subjects now 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 you can give that credit to source or you can say I identified it I isolated it I pointed at it and I'm not offering contradictory thought about it and so it is by natural evolution coming about because when you want to give the credit outside of your point of attraction then you get in that place where you're trying to evaluate who's doing this to me who's doing this to me and then the rightness and the wrongness kind of gets in there too we know we've said so many things that made you say that the way you said that but this is a leading edge conversation the laws of the universe are well, it's like this we're going to explain this to you because we can feel that a new question is arising within you and we want to settle it before you continue here when any of you make your transition back into non-physical which means you withdraw your consciousness from this physical body you call it death but we don't like to give it such a sturdy name we like to mock the idea of endedness because there isn't any so when you withdraw your consciousness from here and re-emerge into non-physical you will not take with you any pushing against anything and so anything that you would call doubt or fear or worry or hatred or anything like that will not go so we want you just for a moment think about that refocusing as a clarification of focusing on this motion forward which is where source is always looking so here you are you came into this body to clarify what you prefer and you know when you're rude you want to be nicer when somebody else is rude you want them to be nicer when you don't feel good you want to feel better in other words words don't teach but life really does so you launch these rockets and just think for a minute about all of the asking of everyone that's been focused and how that asking that is always answered because in this non-physical there is no pushing against anything non-physical is never looking back a friend of Esther's encouraged her to watch a historical document and over the weekend she watched it was a few episodes and by the time it was finished she was nearly dead on the couch so much for her to try to calibrate so much in the history of unwanted and a sort of urge to push against it and then remembering oh yeah that doesn't get me anywhere but it was an exhausting experience your inner beings don't look back your inner beings are always only looking forward that which you call source is only looking forward to the things that you are asking for not looking back to try to justify why you want it not looking back in order to gather more to join in the cause of pushing against the unwanted when you ask source looks forward toward what you're asking for talk about anticipation that's why for one very important thing you all don't need to worry about your eternalness or about eternity you don't need to worry about something evil taking over that's not the way anything works everyone reemerges into non-physical and no one takes the things they worry about with them that's why well-being is dominant no matter how much any body of humans at any time pinch it off still well-being is dominant so that's the basis of what we're gonna lay on you so give us more detail of what you're getting at if you want to yeah um, I think like if I am creating something and I have some success and I start to feel good about it then I I feel the resistance come up because I want to 
continue it, but it's it's like I short circuit the Well that's the really freedom. interesting because what you're saying is this is what you're saying and it's all right. I've had this shortage consciousness going on, kind of not enoughness for a while. And I've overcome it to a certain extent, but I have levels of how much goodness I will let in for myself. And so once things get going good, then that kicks in for me and I start questioning my opinions my opinions about how much is good to have how much good is bad to have how much do I deserve to have I haven't worked that hard why should I have so much and look at those people working so hard and they have so little in other words you have a lot of opinions that work against your allowing yourself the fullness of what you are worthy of so when that shortage consciousness is exhibited within you by that feeling of emotion you can feel you're shutting it down a lot of people do that so we've been playing this game this will help you Esther can't get it out of her head and even when she's talking on the phone to her friends or her daughter she's doing Abraham's hand gestures even though they can't see them and then she's describing the hand gestures that she's doing to the people on the telephone so turning thoughts to things T T T T turning thoughts to things thoughts are turning to things turning thoughts to things now what do we mean do you know what we mean so you were non-physical energy before you came into this physical body a part of your consciousness came into your body splat here you are in this personality so you look around life teaches you shows you what you want shows you what you don't want when you see what you don't want you know what you want and to see something you want you know you really want it so you're launching we're talking really fast because you already know all of these things so you're launching all these rockets of desire into this vibrational reality there's this vibrational reality that is really gaining momentum big time momentum for these reasons there's no resistance in your vortex your inner being who is resistance free is focused upon the content of your vortex so when you say you want it your inner being is focused upon that and so this point of attraction your point of attraction part of your point of attraction this is part of your point of attraction and you and your physical body are part of your point of attraction and those two points of attraction are competing a little bit and that's what your emotions are your emotions are how much you believe what your inner being knows or how much you doubt what your inner being knows and so your inner being knows you're worthy when you don't feel worthy and there's that tug of war going on so your vibrational reality has momentum because your inner being your non-resistant knowing you can be or do or have anything inner being is focused upon your desires and then the law of attraction is gathering the cooperative components and so there is a gestation of wonderful things that is happening here but you can't see it you gotta awareness it and that feels like crazy talk they lock people up for stuff like that <laughs> you gotta face reality is it real or is it not real well 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 Abraham says there's real stuff that people can't see <laughs> don't tell anybody anything about this gathering don't tell them anything <laughs> but there is this vibrational reality that everything that everybody has anything to do with in other words there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of this this is the beginning of everything that you call real and we call it your vibrational reality and so you can feel when your opinion is about what is where your awareness is about this vibrational reality it really is not so different than the gestation of a baby in a womb really it's in the state of becoming there's a woman coming to one of these gatherings maybe this Long Beach gathering for years she got in the hot seat often because her desire was so strong she wanted to have a baby she wanted to have a baby she couldn't get pregnant she couldn't get pregnant she couldn't get pregnant smaller groups there everybody got to know her and one day she sat in the hot seat she said I'm pregnant and the room erupted with joy because everyone so wanted her to be pregnant if nothing else just to shut her up <laughs> everyone really liked her and everyone was really celebrating that she was pregnant and she just couldn't wait to take her baby trick-or-treating if you had seen her before she was pregnant and after she was pregnant you would have realized her joy in being pregnant but we pointed out your baby's not here yet you're not going trick-or-treating yet you're awareness seeing the baby and we know we get it we know there are ways to look and see that there really is a baby there we're not completely crazy but you get what we're talking about you have a in vitro version of everything that you want and are you allowing yourself to let it 
flow into your experience or not. That's all. So you know that you've got the essence of what we're teaching here when there's something you really, really want that hasn't manifested yet, but you feel eagerness about it. You have this feeling of anticipation about it because you're not doubting that it's going to come. It's just a matter of you getting close enough to what your intention is. It's a matter of that, of you getting vibrationally closer to your intention, but it's something else. It's about you laying off your commentary on your opinions. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next